Hello there and welcome to another Minigod 951 3D pixel art tutorial. I hope you've been, been enjoying the week's uh, tutorials. So far we've had these in the week. Um, today we're going to design a little lion. Yes. Most I know most of uh, you guys on my channel know lion makers so let's do a little tribute to him almost shall we? He's helped me out a lot in the, the last month or so so Let's, let's build a little lion. It's only going to be a small, quite easy one to build. We're not going to go too much to detail for this. But it looks quite good in the end. As it, it could almost be like called a baby lion. So what we can do is... I'm just placing that for so I know how many there is. So we want a row of three. A gap, gap, gap. And then another row. Oh, three. So basically, you want a gap of three in between. I've just put that there because that's roughly the centre of your build. We can bring this up for now, up to roughly three up or four in total. So say about there for now. As you can see, so then what we can do is say on this leg here and here, we'll bring it out towards the front, and we'll bring that up as well. We'll do like a something like that I would have said up to about there you see they're, they're just gonna be his legs as I say the body is is really simple for this build we're not gonna go too much detail for this as long as you follow along you shouldn't have no problems with this at all as you can see I've done the three across here and then I've gone up uh, probably change the amount that's going to go up, but for now that looks pretty decent. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So that's four in total. So you want a four by three at the front here for his uh, chest. And then on this next one, you want to bring it in one. Like so. And then on the sides here, you can place a orange just to mark out this is roughly where his actual uh, mane is going to start for this build as I say it's quite a simple build we're not going to go too much into detail for now so what I've done there is like little arrow shapes coming forwards and then this middle bit here you can fill in with yellow and this is roughly where his mouth's going to be so you find the middle one there and what you can do is bring this bit up here and here and it's all the way, in fact fill this all the way in, all the way across so it sits out to there and then on these ones you can bring it up here and here this next bit will be like this so you get that for a sort of mouth uh, mouth, nose even so you have that sort of look at the minute I'll take that row off there. So then what we can do is go to these blocks here and you want to count up three. One, two, three. One, two, three. See, it's taking shape now. So what we can do is just fill this in up to the top of the eyes. Up to there. So from the front, it should have a, something that looks like that for now. In fact, what we can do is put a block here and here and then put the orange on the side of that that looks a bit better yeah I like that better I know he's not looking very like uh, a lion at the minute but once we've completed this he will do so from this orange you want to bring it up to literally roughly about here We'll go up to the top of the eye, but most of it will be uh, covered with other 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 colours and stuff like that. So what we can do is same this side, roughly up to there, and then from here we're going to put 
a block here and here for just to give us a marker obviously for his face and how we want the actual uh, mane itself so then what we can do is from this black to the other black do a line across and then find your middle block there and put one like so then what you can do is come back here all the way around this block you want it to come around like so like that so you should end up with a pattern like that from this top one then what you can do is do two rows of three and then one sticking out at the end at the end here like so you see slowly starting to take shape what we can then do is get some yellow place one here 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 and here just like that and these are going to be acting like his ears if you're wondering why he's got a bit of yellow here so what we do is we'll come back on the corner this side and the same on this one so you fill in that block bring it back and destroy in the original block that you have placed so as you can see he's starting to come along with we're building his main it will look a lot better once we've completed it so what we can do for now is we'll jump round to the back and then we'll do his tail so you want to fill this row in here with one sticking down at the bottom and then you want it to stick out one here so you bring this up to roughly the top of the body before the neck starts like that so as you can see in fact what we could do is we'll move this block back one and then from here we want to row three one two three <coughs> now what we can do is have orange running round the outside like that with a bit sticking out so you should end up with a pattern like that and then on the top here you'd end another two and that's just going to be the big fluffy lion's tail for this so then from here what we're, else we can do is do like a little T pattern on the back of the neck and this is going to start this is going to be a start for us to build the mane into, into this model so then from the T you go round to the corners and place a block there and there so then what we could do here, we do another T but we do it so it's laying down flat like that. And then from here we do a row of three. And then the next one, a row of five. So it comes up to there and we want to do a row of five three times. So there's two and there's three. And then after this you want to then go cut off the corners, do a row of three and then one at the top. As you can see it's almost... Uh, hmm. Hmm. We may we need we need to bring this down one actually, so <laughs> it's typical isn't it? We'll do that. Bring down the sides here and here. And the rest should be, I think take this bit out actually. Oh, we're gonna have to drop this all down again, so what you wanna do is two so this one would be a three. You just basically moving it up one so this oop, like that then you cut off this corner here and then this one here like that so you should end up so you've got a space to put a block here like that and that is roughly connecting the back to the front and now all we've got to do is start to build this up a bit more so what we can do is one here one here and the same with this side just do a running diagonal up to so it meets up to the back as you can see it's all starting to tie in quite nicely here now uh, what we could do from the side here bring it out and we'll wrap it up and around like that and do the exact same for this side bring it out here all the way around and in and we can run this up to roughly about here so it meets up nicely should get a pattern that looks very similar to that for now then on this next row what you could do is do like an L shape so that fits nicely into the actual where you've put the ears and the same with this side come around here do a little L shape and then that fills in nicely there as you can see he's starting to take shape and his mane is slowly getting built up here so then what we could do is come down to the side and on the top half of him here so roughly B we just do simple arm we'll do a row of three for his arm same with this side here one two three <coughs> and that's it for his arms 
Now we've got to do is make his mane stick out a little bit better. So we'll come to the top of the arm and we'll do a row of two like so. And then from here we can then go in, out and make this run directly past there. So it sticks out like that. Then this back bit you can just fill in the, the hole that's left open there. And the same with this side. Hello, hello. Right, and this side. So what we want to do is come round from, is it roughly there I think it was? Uh, yeah, so we come out round and back. So you should end up with something that looks like that for the side of his face. Uh, done it wrong somehow. I will quickly go to bed and do the rest of this in the morning. Good morning, and we're back. So what we want to do? We've done the two cross there. Then from this block here, you want to stick it out one and come back three. So it finishes roughly there. Then in the middle bit, you bring out one there and fill it in there. As you can see, it's starting to take shape. So then what we can do is do row three up here and then one in here because this is roughly where the actual main is going to be finished so then from there we can do two lots of in fact three lots of two and then one at the top there like that this bit here can also be filled in see it's starting to take shape now so then this bit here will then also come out and you do a two by two square here so this will be filled in at the side of his face. And then we just uh, place a block here to make it run nicely with the ear. And then one at the back here also to do that. And we can then fill in this block here. And that is pretty much the side of his mane done. We're going to do the exact same for the other side. And then there is our one complete line. Right, so what we could do, one, two, three, in, f in fact, probably too high, but for now, in fact, no, it's probably about right. So we'll do this, do like almost like a sort of H pattern, and bring this up to roughly about there with one extra. So what we can do from this bit here, bring it out one, then you two by two square, like so. And that runs roughly there nicely, that'll go in, that'll be filled in, and the block here, and then here. And there we go, there is your one 3D Lion. I hope you like this tutorial, if you do, make sure you go check out Lion Maker Studios channel, he'd be much appreciated, tell him how much you like this lion. Also, don't forget to leave this channel some likes, uh, share comments help the channel grow take care goodbye